that means one night must be 30 euros. So then you do 30 times 5, which is 150 euros. So that's five nights. And then for you, would equal one bag, right? Because there's six packs in one bag. One of the things that cooked up is motivation and engagement, isn't it? So we need to figure out what they are, <laughs> because she paid slightly extra. Still learning. Yeah, but you yeah, do, yeah. it's a journey, yeah. isn't it? It's a journey. Classrooms are very complex spaces, and they're complex spaces to, in which to do research. And the most encouraging part of the trial was that if we look at the results from those students who are the most deprived by a free school meal measure in the full intervention, it's as though those students uh, had 10 months of learning uh, in the same period that the business as usual had eight. Impressive. These findings are the results of research trials carried out in further education colleges during 2021 and 2022. The idea was to test the effect of approaches that could make a difference in helping students succeed. On your whiteboards, could you draw that out as like one of those little frequency trees? So have a little try and see what you can manage. That should we get. So have a little think how you could split it three to two. How would you split it? Write an equation to show the relationship between the number of bags and the number of packs. Stick with it, work through it. Talk to each other about it, but I would like your ideas. There's one bag and then there's six packets. The students were studying to retake the GCSE mathematics. I think I messed up. The lessons were designed to support the principles of a mastery approach. You'd split it more into five sections. One, one, two, three, four, five. That would be hers, and that'd be his. No, oh, wait, something's got a times two to me, it's six and... Right, so three, three, four, six, three. One thing that I did find out is that they flow in a certain way. So they can flow like longitude, like from left to right, or from up to down. You'd run up to nine, so put the nine there. Six of nine. Oh, that doesn't add up to yeah. nine. We haven't done this before, but it was like the first time and it was pretty positive. So we kind of just worked it out together. Five minus one is four, so I can't be that kind of. No, the biggest takeaway the smallest. Because we see the teachers just like teaching us like multiple different ways, and obviously they will start, they will carry on teaching you the certain way that you understand, so it helps you a bit more and you can like get better at it. Also, if you have a good bond with your teacher, then that also helps. Um, so this is um, looking at the... Here, some of the participating teachers from around the country are meeting with members of the research team to review the outcomes and learn something about what is to happen next. First, it's an opportunity to share experiences. Doing the, the original pilot trials and you were running cluster meetings? Yeah, it was the different approach to CPD, I guess. And then it was after that that he volunteered an answer to you at the front, and his just his whole character changed that lesson. And when he shook our hands at the end, he said, "Call me a genius." I was like, "No, this is the whole point of mastery lessons." Yeah, it's all well and well, good, like sitting on the sidelines, but actually being there, front line, like trying, trying the, these things out and seeing the impact for yourself. Over the PD sessions that we went to and engaged in, the, our knowledge of the five key principles of mastery improved quite dramatically. The outcomes seem encouraging. People take part in research. It's time to hear what happens next. Jeff Wake, Programme Director, explains. What we were involved with previously was an efficacy trial. An efficacy trial basically asks the question, does it work? What we're going to do next is an effectiveness trial where we scale up and ask the question, can we do this at scale and at distance? Actually doing that in the classroom, working with each other and with the teacher is what we, is so complex we don't know enough about it. So how we're going to do that is have a large scale randomised controlled trial, which means that we need a lot of teachers taking part and their students. And the way it's set up is much like a drugs trial where half of the teachers are taking part in the intervention and half are not, because that's how we can show whether there's a difference or not. And actually, that's why we have to have so many college settings take part in the programme. The more you have, then the smaller the effect you can detect. So for this project, that means we need 160 college settings. So we need 160 teachers from those 160 settings. 
Many of them will teach multiple students. They have to be 16 to 19 year olds who are resetting GCSE maths. We're interested to find out if we can improve their outcomes and we look really carefully at that and see if the programme makes a difference to the teacher's teaching and the student's outcomes. Somebody from one of your local colleges comes to you and says, I've heard about this mastery trial, uh, should I take part? What would your response be? I would say yes. So the trial is a really good opportunity to be part of something that's sector wide and that's sector driven. You've got to get involved in it because it will change the way that you look at maths, change the way that you teach, it will change just your philosophy and how you work with your students. It's coming together to collaborate to something that's effective. You'll see the impact with your students from increased discussion, they become more open and more accepting to different ideas and concepts. Um, it completely changed my teaching practice. You learn as you engage more, you have loads of discussion and you can actually see where the gaps are, where the misconceptions are because they're highlighted in like a way where it's kind of safe for the learners but really useful from a teaching and learning point of view to know where do I need to fill these gaps up. Students say to me, oh yeah I like your lessons because um, we understand you take the time and you let us speak. And I get more from my learners. So one of the key things that I learned was letting the students think and giving them the time and the space to do that and just listen. I think it was really powerful to see students actually um, get correct answers by themselves, by discussion. The engagement's more, the attendance is better. They become more open and more accepting to different ideas and concepts. We're giving them tools to have a go, so they're not leaving blank questions in exam papers anymore. It was some of the best professional development uh, I've ever had. What's different here is that it's not CPD in the sense that you will just turn up to a session and be trained by somebody standing at the front of the classroom. You work with other teachers. Um, there's no judgment, there's no pressure. Uh, you will engage with a group, a cluster group, uh, with four or five other teachers. Yeah, so cluster meetings were really, really um, advantageous in the sense of I got to meet other teachers, got to share ideas with those, got to realise that I wasn't on my own. By participating in a trial, um, you get to see the lesson implemented. So you will watch each other teach, uh, you'll observe lessons that you'll all have taught and you'll discuss them in depth about what worked. Having watched someone deliver a lesson so you could see how they teach um, a, a series of lessons that you've, you've also got yourself, seeing what their students um, uh, are doing in the lessons. And by having a group of teachers there you're also, you've also got more eyes to see more students. But then being able to talk about it, uh, actually be able to dig in to what they saw, what worked well, what didn't, and then be able to actively like um, move forwards and think, okay, if I was to do this again, how, how differently would I do it? And reflect on what they've, they've seen. So hopefully from the new research project, we'll get more people involved um, from a wider community. It's always nicer to know that you've been a part of something that's actually making a difference. It's being part of the big picture. It's just really nice to be part of a wider community. To know what you're doing is, is building up a picture, a national picture that's going to help everybody in the end is, is important. Hopefully this will prove that it will make a big difference to students right across the country. Should I do it? What did your response be? I would say certainly. Go for it. It's a no-brainer. I would take part in a, in a heartbeat. So we very much appreciate if you could take part. Uh, the programme is been a, a potentially a benefit to you, to your students, to your college, but most importantly to adding to the research evidence base that we've got in further education and GCSE resets, of which there's very little. And this is a really good opportunity in FE, which we're there hasn't been a lot of research in the past. It's a really good opportunity to find out what works uh, in a way that might impact across the entire system. And that's why it's important.